Per John's request, this is more of the stuff I've got from IC Station. Made a fairly big order. Not physically big, but it'll all fit in this little box. But John asked, what else did I buy from them? Well, I bought another ping sensor. Uh, sort of a generic one. Dirt cheap. I already have two, but I bought a third one. Um, I bought a variety of battery holders. Including this cool one I featured in the other video with the switch on it. I don't know if this is all of them or not. But I bought a variety of battery holders. Because they're dirt cheap there. Um, of course I bought the... Uh, Little RF receiver board, RF remote featured in the last video. I also bought this uh, perf board, little miniature board for little projects like this one. These uh, LEDs, of course, I had around. I've been putting my LEDs now, though. And these little boards, I got these boards which are not from IC Station. These are just like a waste product from work. They're just a jumper. So I've, I've taken them home for uh, to use as jumpers or to break the circuit on the jumper and to make LEDs out of them. So I just put a resistor and an LED together on a little jumper board. Because I'm constantly putting resistors and LEDs together for my, uh, for my perf boards. So this is the way to do it without having an intermediate hole. So you can have it right in line. I had to skip over and get another line, you know, to get the resistor in series of the bulb. Uh, the red, I put two bulbs in instead of one bulb. So I can Charlie Pixel with it. That's kind of a side point, though, from my uh, unboxing here. I bought another Arduino. Um, I bought a Dumolo. This is a generic uh, Oriental knockoff. That's doing pretty good quality, though. It's a fun do we know, or a copy of a fun do we know, but the uh, artwork says fun do we know. It's got a lot of extra pins. Um, I bought it instead of an Uno, even though they're pretty much the same thing. Just because I heard that they're more hackable in some ways. It has more pin headers and stuff on it than a Uno does. I don't really know all the differences. Um, what in the heck is this? Oh, this is one of these displays I bought. I bought two of these. And, of course, like everything from IC Station, there's no instructions. But I really want to get these going. This is an LED matrix. I should pull up the page and stick it on this video. Um, and it comes totally in kit form, apparently. Let me cut one open here. I hope I don't lose any pieces doing this. But it comes with a bunch of pin headers, which I'm going to leave in the bag. It comes with a little circuit board. Looks like i got to do a surface mount solder job. That's going to be interesting. Is that the fact here? Yeah, I've got to do a surface mount soldering job. I don't have a surface mount oven set up yet. This might be a project for the future. But it's basically to do a LED matrix like this one. And it comes with some uh, suitcase jumpers, some pin headers, uh, the chip, of course. I'd really like to get this going. They're fairly economical from this place if I can make them work. What I need to get going is a uh, at least two of these long. I want to make a scrolling text display. Uh, two lines of scrolling text long enough where it can be read easily. Um, and again, that's for that preamp project. That's my. A lot of this stuff is for actually. It's going to be kind of a off in the future project still. Then I bought this little programmer. And this is again another copy of somebody else's product. It even says right on the board, um, 
Ada, Lady Ada. It's got www.ladyada.net on the uh, board here. And Lady Ada's uh, artwork. Doesn't come with the case, the plastic case that the Lady Ada product comes with. Did come with a little USB jumper, which I've got a bunch of. I don't need these. But if I can figure out how to use this programmer, I won't have to use an Arduino as a programmer. But I really don't know how these pinouts are. I'm going to have to look a lot of this up. There's a Miss M Miss So and uh, you know Master In Slave Out, and then uh, there's Miso and Mosai. Uh, and then there's reset, and then there's power and ground that you got to communicate to an AT Tiny chip. But basically, this is an AT Tiny programmer. And these go to some standard pin headers like you'd find on some of the Arduino boards and stuff. But I want to be able to use this without an Arduino, that's the whole point. So I got to learn more about this programmer before I can ever use it. Uh, and again, like a lot of these products from uh, this company, they, they're other people's ideas that they make cheaper. And then I bought a metal film resistor kit 